Hello everyone. One of the most common and annoying issues that most Outlook users have noticed is the Outlook prompting for password every single time you open Outlook. This happens because of the following reasons. If the password that has been entered and saved is incorrect. If you have updated your password on the web and that has not been updated on your PC. Unstable network connections are also known to cause this issue. In this video, we have compiled a list of fixes that can help you overcome the Outlook's asking for password issue. In the search bar next to the start symbol, type Credential Manager. Click on the Credential Manager. Select Windows Credentials. Scroll down to the Generic Credentials section. Go through the saved logins and find the ones that have the word Outlook in their name. Then, open each of these and click on Remove to remove them from your computer. In the confirmation dialog box that appears, click on OK. Close and reopen the Outlook application. You will be prompted for the password. This is because we have deleted the saved password from the credential manager. Enter your password. From now on, if you close and reopen Outlook, it shouldn't prompt for the password. Thanks watching this video. Method 2. Enable the Remember Password option. Open Control Panel. Click on the User Accounts option. Select the Mail option. Click on the button that says Email Accounts to view your accounts. Select your Outlook email account from the list and click on Change. On the following screen, under the Logo and Information section, you'll see an option saying Remember Password. Tick mark the option so it is enabled and click on Next to save the changes. Method 3. Launch Outlook in Safe Mode. Click on a Windows icon, type Outlook. And select Outlook from the results. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and double click on the Outlook. It'll ask if you want to launch the app in Safe Mode. Click on Yes and continue. If it doesn't ask for your password in Safe Mode, it's safe to assume that one or multiple of the add-ins installed in the app are causing the issue. 